Assalamu alaikum dear viewers do you know why we use biopython and what are its main functions if you don't know then today's lesson is for you so let's begin bismillahir rahmanir rahim why biopython Programming languages are very powerful tools. They can be used by anyone to solve problems in any field of life. You can use any programming language to solve your problems. Most of the time, you will need to write your own functions and software to solve your biological or any other problems. But for that you have to learn and understand a programming language in detail and in depth you have to be an expert guru although it is very easy to write simple functions and software but to develop complex functions and softwares you have to have in depth knowledge of the programming languages algorithms and much more we know that scientists time is very precious a biologists main objective is to solve his own biological problem for example alignment of some ten sequences to make a multiple alignment he would need cluster lex for example if he wants to write his own software for this purpose he will have to learn a programming language he will have to learn how to develop a software and then he will have to use it in this way most of his precious time will be wasted in learning and coding softwares most of his energy will be exhausted maybe it cost him too and in the end maybe his software fails to work so why waste your time in writing your own functions from scratch we know it is very difficult and quite time consuming for a biologist even if you are an expert still it needs quite a lot of time to write functions and software which would definitely consume your time money and energy in things which are not the main focus of your research development of software tools is one of the most time consuming aspects of the work done by a bioinformaticist a successful solution to this problem has been the establishment of common repositories of interworking open source libraries this solution not only saves development time for researchers but also leads to more robust well tested code due to the contributions of multiple developers on the project these codes have been compiled in functions modules and packages these packages are then put into a folder which is called the super package in this case it is biopython although there are many uses of biopython the list of common tasks that we can do with biopython is given below following is the list of few applications of biopython number 1 to retrieve data from common biological databases and parse them into a python data structure for example sequences from swiss prot retrieving research articles from pubmed retrieving gene sequences from gene bank similarly you can download protein structures from protein data bank number 2 blast comparisons between one of your sequences and every other sequence in the known world number 3 to create your own database number 4 sequence alignment to find relationships between multiple sequences and to generate a consistent sequence from that number 5 translation of gene sequences to protein and vice versa number 6 extracting a specific atom residue chain or domain from a protein structure number 7 superimposing two protein structures number 8 determining the secondary structure of a protein number 9 phylogenetic tree calculation tree modification coloring the tree branches etc number 10 parsing kegg records number 11 trimming off 
primer and adapter sequences. Number 12, identifying open reading frames. Number 13, calculating GC content. Number 14, microarray data analysis. Number 15, use in population genetics. And there are a lot more applications of BioPython. In short, the main objective of these codes is the automation of your task. So that was all for today. Link to the lesson one and two are given in the description section of the video. Please subscribe my channel. Also, please subscribe my other two channels. Thanks. Allah Hafiz.